and we have another caller here, uh, Gloria, I think. Good morning, Gloria. Hi. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I was listening to your show. I can just barely hear you here. Just a second. We, we need to get our sound up in here. All right. Go ahead. Say it again, caller. Okay. I was listening to your show, and I just wanted to bring up two points. Um, you've been talking a lot about religion All right. as one big religion, and that is uh, a lot of external authority. All right. And uh, the belief in a higher power technically has to be an internal authority because it doesn't come from the outside as much as it does inside. You That's do an excellent point. You have a history like we have the history of the world. We can use the Bible as a history. We can use other teachings uh, as a history, but we do have to read and search. But it does come from an internal authority, and it becomes a tougher guide than an external authority because it's something you know you don't believe. That's an excellent point there you brought up, uh, and I think it would go, go along with the same lines here. I've heard Christians say that atheists weren't uh, were afraid to humble themselves and bow down before their God or whatever else. Uh, I think it's the vanity of religion that would think that man is here special above any other life form and it's their own vanity that's wanting to make themselves more important than they really are. It's True, and I, so I think uh, and the fact that you admit yourself an atheist the then humbles one. yourself um, through the yeah. whole universe. Right. And one I'm of so, the sorry, Gloria, we're going to have to get our sound turned back up here again a little bit. Yeah. I think one, of the, one of the other points was uh, someone said there was no proof of a soul. All right. And, yeah. you know, that that's, of course, relative, but... We have matter, uh, neutrons, uh, protons in an atom. But scientists, and I believe, as a side note, science and God can coexist because if you read enough science, there isn't enough proof to say one way or the other because we it's still all man conjuncture, in other words. But... We put a little bit more weight on science because maybe it is man. I don't know. Whatever it is. But the thing is, um, there are neutrons, protons, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in an atom. The unnamed energy that keeps these things together is my intelligent energy known as God. And no. Uh, we actually have a name for that force, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, what the, is it? And it's a strong... Ma well, uh, electrochemical and gravitational magnetic forces. Okay, but, and that runs through everything, right? Yeah. It, it, it sounds like you're saying that the, uh, that the physical uh, forces of the universe are God. Okay, but they, this energy okay. that goes yeah. through every atom well, is the energy that... the glue, so to speak, that puts us all together, right? I understand. And, uh, and by the way, Kellen, what the deal is, we're getting feedback from our microphones on this speaker in here, Kellen, is what the problem it's is. A, it's a fine and, volume running. And uh, we can hear the caller, but we're getting feedbacks from our own conversation here. Sorry about that. Uh, and, caller, you brought up some excellent points there. Uh, we feel that science has answered those particular questions you brought up. Uh, and we have some other callers. Is there any other points you'd like to make? No, I am... Uh, my profession is anthropologist, social worker, and uh, I, I believe a scientist, but like I said, I have not seen, and I've done a lot of research, I have not seen enough science fact to prove that there is no God. Excellent point. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, just make one comment before we go to the next caller. Uh, apparently, the, the standard of proof that Gloria and many Christians are setting for themselves is that they have, that someone would have to be able to disprove the existence of God in order not to believe in God, and that's an unrealistic uh, standard of proof. Uh, if, if you want somebody to believe in something, then, then the burden of proof falls upon the people who want the others to have the belief. Exactly. Yes. Well, caller, uh, Gloria, thank you for your call. 